decided! It's finally decided! You have a crazy look in your eyes. What's been decided? The fishing festival! It's been over ten years, but it'll be held here! Uh, oh! Is it supposed to be that big a deal? Of course it is! Because the main event is... <laughs> I'm going to do it! I'll throw my shame and caution to the wind and put my all into this festival! <sighs> I'm kind of nervous now. That's why I want your help! No, I'm ordering you! Help me! Uh, okay. What do you want me to do? This is important. Listen carefully. You need to gather eight young and beautiful women. I'll say it again. Eight young, beautiful women. It's the festival's prerequisite. Eight? I don't know that many. What should I say to them? Just say you want them to be in a festival. I can't reveal the ultimate plan quite yet. The festival's in two months, so this is kind of urgent. Two months? I'm not sure if I can. Can't you at least tell me the plan? Not a chance. Get them no matter what. I have to go and prepare some other stuff. I couldn't bring myself to refuse. I wonder what it is if it's got even Peter all riled up. young, beautiful women for the village festival. Yep. That's why I'm asking you. Will you join? I guess I fit the bill perfectly. But I'm not sure how I feel about Peter organizing all of this. Please. If you don't agree, I don't know who else to ask. Sure. I think I get what he's planning. But I don't think I'll mind. Really? Thanks! What will happen? I have an idea. Can you tell me? It's hard to ask other people if I don't really have anything to tell them. Sorry. I think it'd be better if I didn't. I'd feel bad about spilling the beans before the big day. Oh, that stinks. I think it'll be more interesting if I keep quiet. Huh? What was that? Nothing. Let's both look forward to the day of the festival. I really want to know. What? You want me to join the festival? Yeah. Can you? But you need young and beautiful women, right? I don't think I'm what you want. I think you're perfect for it. But... Please... He said we can't have the festival if we don't have enough people. I think Peter would be really depressed if that happened. All right. Since it's for the village festival, I guess I'll cooperate. Really? Thanks, Tetsy. You're welcome. You have other participants to get, right? Go on. Okay. gone again. I wonder if she's out. It's that voice again. Oh, now I understand what she meant by the teddy bear being her bed. Pamela, please wake up, Pamela.
the village festival? Sure, I don't mind. Wow, that was easy. You want a young, beautiful maiden as fragile as a candle flickering in the wind? Of course I'll do it. Did I say all that? Okay, I guess. I have to go ask other people now. Good luck. I don't know what's going to happen, but I can't wait. should join your little festival. I knew you'd say something like that. Then don't bother asking in the first place. I won't do it. Please. I need to get enough women or Peter will get mad at me. Besides, maybe joining in the festival will make you famous or something. Everyone will be like, amazing, as expected from someone of the Schwarzlong family. You've been learning how to manipulate people. <laughs> Thanks. It's not a compliment. Whatever. I'll play along just this once. Really? Thanks! Just this once. Since I've agreed, you better make it a good festival worth my while. Sure.
she's so motivated now, but I'd better not be too nosy. You want me in your village festival? I'm not really into those. Besides, I have to work here. Please, I really need your help. I don't know. Oh, what did Verona say? She said she'll join. Oh, fine. I can't let her go alone, so I'll join too. Really? Thank you! Just don't make me do anything weird. I've got my reputation at work to keep, you know? It'll be just fine, I think. Welcome, uh, Totary. It may be strange to say it to you, but don't bring a child to a bar. Huh? A child? Wow, he's really big. Fiona, you followed me here? There's nothing to do at home. But you have to watch the house. Why does he have hair on his mouth? Hair on his mouth? You mean his mustache? Mustache? Oh, right. You don't see men often. You see, mustaches are... I want to touch it! Let me touch the mustache! What? You can't. Gerard doesn't know how to react to that. Well, uh, if she just wants to touch it, I don't really mind. Are you sure? It must seem odd to a child. You might not remember, but you asked the same thing when you were smaller. Me too? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't reach! Hold on. I'll come over there. <laughs> oh, this brings back memories. When you first touched it, you used all your strength and... I got it! Ah! Ah! Oh, that sounds like it hurt! Huh? The mustache came off. Ah! 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 Gerard. Oh. Ah. I'll be sure to give Piana a scolding. We'll get going now. Thanks for the mustache. festival Peter talked about. What should I do? He asked me to get eight people, but I only got seven. I wonder if he'll be mad. Are you here, Totori? Oh! There you are! Oh, why so surprised? You're really skittish. Well, well, um... You're the one who shouted at me all of a sudden. I did? I, I, anyway... The thing I asked you about... You managed to get everyone, right? I wanted to brief you on the program. Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Don't tell me that. I couldn't get eight people. I tried really hard, but... What? Then how many did you get? How many? Seven. I couldn't get the last person. Seven? Ah, seven! Oh, ah, don't scare me like that. Huh? 
Are you sure? It's one person short, though. Nope, including you. We have eight. Huh? Me? Yes, you. What? I can't possibly. You said young, beautiful women. And I'm saying you'll be fine. I mean, you're no tetsy, but I don't think you're too shabby to look at. But, but, but I don't think... Okay, it's settled. Try to gather everyone here by tomorrow evening. I'll give you the details then. See you later. Wait! Can't you at least let me know what you're going to... He's gone. Am I really beautiful? Oh, jeez. Look what he got me thinking. Well, uh, whatever. I guess I'll just wait for tomorrow. Yeah! So these are your eight picks? Tetsy too? Totori! Yes? Amazing job! You've outdone yourself! Th thanks. So what do we have to do? I think it's time for an explanation. I've got an idea what it'll be. Melvi wouldn't tell me. <laughs> it's a real festival! I'm starting to get excited! I've been excited since yesterday. This better not be anything stupid. Wow, so many pretty people. I'm really happy, but it's also making me really nervous. Uh, may I have your attention? Firstly, thank you all for coming today. All you really have to do is stand around. It's nothing particularly difficult, I assure you. Just stand around? That's it? <sighs> I think I can do that. And here are your costumes for today. Pick the one you each like best. What? What? What is this? <laughs> to all the gentlemen in the audience, thank you very much for waiting. The Alanya Village Fishing Festival Swimsuit Contest is about to start. Talk to you. 
no! Get away! Pervert! Pervert! Apparently, being first has put her a bit on edge. Let's move on. Entry number two. Owner of her very own store, Pamela Ivan. Yay! Thank you for coming here today. All for me, too. <laughs> I always wanted to do something like this. Amazing. Not only do you look young, you're very young at heart. It's like you never age. You've been at the village for years, but you don't look a day older. Tell us your secret. There's no secret. I don't age because I'm dead. What? Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. I said I'm already dead. That's why I don't age. I... she must be overexcited in the heat of the festival. Let's move on. Entry number three. I knew she'd be here. It's Melvia. Hey there! Thank you, and next we have... Hey, I sense a little bias here. I'm the MC, so I can do what I want. We're short on time, so move it on. You're confident today. Usually I'm kind and compassionate. You sure you want to see me mad? I know. People are watching. So you don't mind when no one is. We can talk about this later, in private. I may have overstepped my bounds, but I'll think about it later. Next up, entry number four. Here she comes, our shining star and most promising contestant today, Cecilia Helmo! Hi! Oh, this is embarrassing. Thank you! That was wonderful. Well, um... This is really flattering. I joined without thinking too much, but I... I don't think I belong here. That's not true at all. Well, I, I mean... Yo, MC! Snap out of it! What are you all nervous about? Shut up! Stay out of this! Oh, I'm sorry. I guess there's not much to say about me in a swimsuit. Just go on to the next person. Wait! Can't you stop? Oh. I thought you were short on time! I said shut up! <clears throat> the festival is just getting started! Next, we have entry number five. Oh, we have a celebrity here! Throw her a line of pretzel! <laughs> Hi! What a huge surprise! I didn't think you'd come to a festival at a remote village such as ours. Well, Totri asked me to. If I knew it was going to be like this, there's no way I would have come. You're a famous alchemist, but you're still young. Almost childish, in fact. Ugh, oh, that really hurts. I wish I looked a bit more dignified. It's not just about your face. Your body is almost like a child's, too. Mm -hmm. But some people love the gap between your real age and... Ow! What do you think you're doing? Stop making Rorona cry! Don't talk to teacher like that! Please don't come out before your turn! Anyway, thank you very much. There you have it, everyone. Rorona Fritzel. I might never recover from this. Next, we have entry number six. Another receptionist from Arlan's Adventurer Guild. Miss Cordelia von Feuerbach. What? What are you looking at? Now, Miss Cordelia, you appear to be the youngest of all our contestants. But in actuality, you are... Hold on. What's that supposed to mean? 
Huh? I just mean literally. Go on. Try saying it. I get the feeling you'll ruthlessly murder me if I do. You got that right. Now go on and say it. Thank you very much. Moving on. Hey! At least let me punch you in the head to relieve some stress. Next up. Oh, this will be awkward. Entry number seven. From the famous aristocratic family of our land, Mimi Huyer von Schwarzlong. Salutations, everyone. I hope this day finds you well.
What are you mad about? I'm not mad. Liar. I know you are. I'm not! Go away! I'm going home! Come on, wait up! Let's look around the festival together. Hey, wait! 